you know, I, I think that's one of the real unique things about Play It Again Sports is we may be the only sporting goods store out there that has the ability to really be in the community. You know, some of the big boxes may give out coupons to coaches, but they don't know that coach really. You know, it's a, you know, it's coming from a corporate side more, you know, whereas with me, you know, I have personal relationships with, you know, countless people in the community, whether that be coaches or, you know, uh, teachers at schools. We do quite a bit of um, work within our, our community. We sponsor many teams, so we sponsor every sport that we sell. We sponsor a house league team in that, uh, in that area. Our names are on five different softball teams and, and five or six different leagues uh, for Little League in our community. We sponsor football teams. Um, we're very involved in our um, local uh, ski community for their ski swap. To me, that's been probably the biggest number one success to my store is just being a part of the community. You find out, you get connected with uh, customers who come on in. So, hey, can you set up your uh, booth, uh, your, your, your tent out at the football league? Love doing that. Love interacting with the kids and love doing whatever we have to do with uh, the people because I want them to know that, that I'm a local neighborhood sporting goods store and we're there for them and the money stays in the community and we support them back. Yes, I think that concept of you know, being the local neighborhood store over the big boxes is, is, is key. Um, everywhere I go, I have my uh, discount cards and, and I'm handing them out. Um, they like to see us at leagues. They like to see us at ball games. We try to be as, as involved as we can with me and my managers. You have to get involved with the community. Uh, we're in a rotary, we're in all the business clubs. We sponsor the teams locally. Um, and people like to do business with the business owner. And if you're local, I, I think most people prefer to do business with you. And I think that gives you an edge over the competition. You know, you're there, you're on the ball field, you're, you're talking to the leagues, but you still have to you still have to go out and hit new faces because I'm not in huge markets, but they're big, big enough to where I don't know everybody in town. And some of the customers will come in and they'll identify with my store manager more than me, which is to me is a success because I don't have to be standing there for them to feel like they're getting taken care of in my store. It allows us to react to the community also, you know, where, you know, we know what what you know, colors the teams need, and you know, we order things specifically because we know our schools. Whereas again, Dicks, I mean, uh, you know, they might make some sort of an effort at that, but it's a pretty, pretty clumsy. Whereas I can be real reactive. Mm -hmm. You know, anything I need, I can make a change. Boom, you know, right on the spot. Whereas a bigger, you know, corporately run type store can't do that. Two reasons you donate to a charity: um, either it's you know, um, it's a good cause, you know them, or um, Personally, you have ties to it, and you can kind of pick and choose what you want to do. You know, like I said, you can't donate to everything that walks through the door, but um, you can do a lot. There's so much you can do to help um, an organization without writing a check. I've actually run fundraising clinics, have people come in before the store's open, free coffee and donuts, and have everybody come in and just start a conversation among PTAs and charity groups and travel ball teams and they're all in there because all the parents are under the same pressure of gee who's going to do it next year i did it this year i'm done and so this really relieves a lot of pressure when they can share ideas that when it becomes a, again a community synergistic type you know atmosphere um, you know you can't do everything you can't don donate to everything but you can really pick your cause and the things that you're passionate about you really can make a difference and get involved you can't get out in the public enough People really appreciate when you're out there. You know, you're, you're the, you are the owner and you're in the town and you live there or nearby and it's a huge piece of, of making that store feel like the neighborhood place people want to go.